Alright, we're back. Killed the first two. Transient cursed the shit out myself. And now here's Hope I'll walk into another ambush with 17 goddamn souls at once! I hit him with- yay, yeah, I can. Alright, there should be another one. All the way up there? No, there should be another one around here. Hi, I can barely even fucking see you. What is that? Is that other one? Oops, that's the wrong one. There we go, that's the right one. Come here, bitch! Come here, bitch! Just stand there and stare at me, bitch! Whatever! I don't like you anyway. Alright, so what I should ponder doing here. Go! Oh, whoa! Whoa! That, that is, that's cheating. That's cheating. That is most definitely considered cheating. Man. Flee! No, nothing, nada. Nothing coming through the walls. Oh, I see a lever. We are going to pull this lever. No, we're not going to pull the lever. We're going to walk in here and run! Oh, whoa, whoa! Fuck you, bitch! Ow. Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me! Alright, we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're good. We got, we got this. We got this. We good. We good. We good. We so not good. Fuck that shit. I, you are not grabbing me. Yeah, that's right, run away! Flee, bitches! Hiya! I'm rolling two-handed because that allows me to, you know, not rebound my shit right off the walls. Like I just did right there. Alright, come here. I ain't scared of you! I played it smart that time, bitch! You don't have a chance when I know what's coming. You don't have a chance. Is there another one? There must be. There must be more. Really? No more? I'm so scared now that one came out of a fucking wall. <laughs> like Jesus. <laughs> Was there one fall? Man, now I'm seeing things. It must have just been the light that's shining off him made me think there was one following me. I knew it! Why the hell did you dodge twice? Get the fuck out of the wall, goddammit! <sighs> hell no. I'm not letting you do that to me. Alright, so how the fuck... How am I supposed to get over there? Huh. Maybe I can jump down from somewhere? I don't know. Oh. Or just walk across. You know, that works. Whichever option you prefer. Yeah, that's not, that's not creepy at all. That's, you know, not even moderately fucking... Jesus. <laughs> that's so creepy. Alright. <sighs> Please do not get your ass kicked by something. Is it still there? Oh, good. Good. That's great. That's fantastic. Kick the ladder, kick the ladder, kick the ladder! I'm about to get jumped, kick the ladder! Really? Dark Souls? Nothing's popping up behind me to scream in my ear? Shocking. Alright, let's see where this leads. As I just kicked it down, it'll be nice to new. How to get back here? I wonder. This is not going to be smart. 
and take all that danger for nothing. All right, so so definitely want to know. Oh hi, what's up? What's up, Gelsty? Is it possible to get back here? No, it's not. That's weird that you have to kick down a ladder that doesn't actually like lead you to. It isn't like a shortcut to get back here or something. Oh no. Oh dear. Hey, thank god that missed. Hey. Hey. Stop fucking. Great. What? Why the fuck that. What did I get hit by there? Like, legitimately, why did that hit me? Alright, that's cool. I saw absolutely nothing on the screen, but I just got hit, so. That's exciting. I was defending, too, so that's another. I don't mind. I mean, I'm like, I'm not angry at the area right now. I'm not angry at all at the area. I don't mind that, but having to walk all the way back through this, like not giving me any kind of a bonfire at the beginning of the area or anything. And you know, obviously I can't use the one at the fucking, the Firelink Shrine because for some, whatever inexplicable reason, something killed the Fire Keeper there. But there's no, there's absolutely no explanation as to why or how. I mean, like, it's fine if you don't want to explain game mechanics and let the players explore that shit and figure it out themselves. But when there's some story-related shit going down where your firekeeper magically fucking dies, how about you explain that one a little bit? That would be awesome. <sighs> but, no, I want to... I just want to keep coming back to this wonderfully fun and exciting area that I don't hate at all repeatedly to run through it just to get to the next area. <sighs> I'm not even mad. I mean, there's most definitely a certain level of repetition that you get to where it's like it stops being a punishment for dying, and it's just tedium instead. And having to walk this path, what is, this has got to be like the at least the tenth time I've run through here. It's definitely easily getting to tedium. I'm like, I've almost never done this before. In any other game, just run by the enemies because I don't feel like fighting them, I just want to move on. I've almost never done that. So That's my that's my tell. I almost walked right off that ledge. That would have been good. That would have made me even happier. Make me feel stupid and make me feel even angrier. Just what I need. Oh no. I'm just not the kind of person that can do marathon sessions of this game apparently. Like, I just need to play for an hour, take a break. Play for an hour, take a break. I mean, like, this isn't really my style. To begin with, this really isn't my style of, like, challenging. You know, like, this game is based upon pretty much essentially just observation, ensuring that you, you know, you know how an enemy is moving, how the, what they're going to do, how their attacks work, etc. And so it's more about kind of trial and error than, like, ability, really. I mean, obviously ability still comes into play, but, you know, like, I enjoy challenging games like Ninja Gaiden, or Gaiden, however you pronounce that shit. I enjoy, you know, I enjoy challenges like that much more than I enjoy this because, you know, it's still, regardless of, um, I mean, number one, it allows me, Ninja Gaiden allows me to be reckless 
and allows me to, you know, test my reflexes and everything. And there's that one in the wall. Yeah. I mean, it's challenging by being challenging. I'm t I'm not sure how to like. I'm not sure how to properly describe it, but that game feels to me like a legitimate challenge, and not just like I'm stuck. And like I'm stuck. I just went the completely wrong fucking direction. That's good. That's great. Turn around, you. Oh my god, just in fucking time. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh, damn. I didn't even see that at all. Oh, that that's fine. I didn't wanna I didn't wanna dodge backwards, I wanted to die. That's fine. Perfectly fine. It's a break time. It's a break time. It's, I mean just to finish my thought, I mean I enjoy Ninja Gaiden because it is about reflexes. It's about being quick and it's fast paced and that's my that is my style of challenging. This slow paced take your time, learn your enemy. It's not my style. You know what I mean? I can do it, obviously, but it's not my style of game. I take too many chances. And this is a game, like, I want to take chances, I want to screw around, I want to, um, like, I want to toe the line and get my excitement that way, and this is a game that punishes you hard for doing that, as we've seen. I, you know, I'm dying a lot just because I'm, I'm just going in, I'm taking chances, and it punishes you so hard and almost unfairly for that. So, and I mean, I should have known that coming in that this was that style of game, that this was not the kind of game that I would typically... I mean, the closest game that I can compare this to is Monster Hunter. It's That's the closest comparison I can think of, is that this is like Monster Hunter. And I played Monster Hunter Try, and I didn't particularly enjoy it, because it is slow pace. It's very much about dodging around until you get, like, your one opportunity every five minutes to get an attack in, and then you start dodging around again. And that's not really my thing. That's definitely, that, that's not, not really my thing. It's definitely not my thing. So, like, I mean, there's points of enjoyment when I first get to an area and, like, I'm just, you know, trying out different shit and, you know, I die here or there. And that, that part's enjoyable. But then, after the first couple deaths, then it just becomes tedious and annoying again. And that's absolutely killing me. It doesn't help. That I can't find humanity to save my fucking life. Why is it so hard to come by? I haven't gotten a single humanity since the gaping dragon boss fight. I haven't gotten a single thing of it. Not one. So, like, I mean, why is it so incredibly difficult to come by? When it's such, like, a, it's such a precious commodity in the game, and yet the only possible way to get it is to grind rats in the fucking depths? How does that make sense? I mean, I've gone through, I've died a lot in this fucking area. I've gone through this area at least probably 10, 15 times, and I haven't gotten a single humanity in that entire time. There's something wrong there. You know, that's taking something that, you know, like you're taking an item that is precious to a player, that is necessary for a lot of very important aspects of the game, most notably, you know, kindling, um summoning, you know, being human so you can summon shit or invade shit. And you're making it almost impossible to find unless you grind, like, a certain area. Which I don't understand at all. I mean, making it hard to find and making it so you can, you can choose to grind for it if you desire, like, if you really want it, that's fine. That's fine by me. I understand that. That's how RPGs work. But making it so, like, at this point, I have to grind. Because I cannot find any of it. I can't find any of it. I haven't had any in probably the last, like, ten hours of gameplay. I haven't had a single humanity. That's absurd. That's stupid. So, 
It's just like there's so many aspects of this game that are just... I understand. I definitely understand. It's supposed to be challenging. It's supposed to kill you. You're supposed to die a lot. But there are so many other aspects that are stacked on top of that which make it unenjoyable for me. Where, like, I can't sit down for longer than an hour and play this game. Where I can't do a marathon session and just roll through it because I'm not having fun after 30 minutes. And that to me is the mark of a game that like the people aren't praising it because it's good they're praising it because it's a it's a oh it's a hard game in this day and age of watered down you know games for the casual player this is for the hardcore gamer and they're because of that they're ignoring all the other aspects of it that just aren't good and i can't ignore those they're bringing the experience down for me so I don't know I just all that I know is these last few areas aside from very few choice times have not been entertaining at all they haven't been fun for me I mean like the last few boss fights God damn, like just that que just thinking of that Quelag boss fight just makes me think like what if there's more like that to come? That wasn't even like that wasn't even a test that was a test of nothing but endurance. It wasn't a test of reactions. It wasn't a test of ability. It wasn't difficult. It was just tedious. I just had to run around until he did one attack that left him open for, you know, like three seconds. And that's not a boss fight that excites me. You know, I understand that the concept of long grueling boss battles can be good and it can be i've been through some boss fights shit what was that one i'm trying to think of the game there was one game that i played where like i believe it was the final boss fight it took like you know it was persona 3 there was persona 3 the final boss fight took something like 40 50 minutes but it was still, like, it was still actually a pretty good boss fight. You're constantly having to change your tactics. You're constantly having to adapt to the situation. You're, you know, you're always, there's always the potential for danger. Whereas, in that fight against Quelag, when I decided to stop being reckless, to just play it safe like you're supposed to, it was easy, but it was boring. And that's what I don't like about this, is that, so many of the boss fights you can either try and have fun with it and get punished for that or you can play it as safe as humanly possible which isn't fun for me at all but then the boss fights are easy so that's why this isn't really my style of game is because you have to be patient you you get punished so incredible it's not like oh you know you you slipped up right here we're punishing you for that it's not only that it's that you didn't slip up, you just decided to not play it 100% perfectly safe and boring, and now we're gonna fuck you up for it. And that kills the experience for me, I guess. So, I guess this just really isn't my type of game overall. I wish it was, you know, I mean, I kind of, I want to enjoy it, but, you know, I, I, like I said, I, can, I, try, I was talking about Ninja Gaiden. Gaiden, whatever, I'm pretty sure it's Gaiden. But I was talking about that, and that's the kind of challenge that I greatly enjoy. It's fast-paced, It's but it's still, you know, like, they still, the enemies are challenging, the enemies are good. And, I don't know, I've, I've rambled on long enough, but, yeah. So, it's enough rambling, just not my style of game, but I'll, I committed to doing the playthrough, so I gotta finish it. So, yeah.